Hey guys, and welcome to our brand new episode three, can you believe it, it's going so quick, of our episode that we bring to you each and every single Monday. For those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Katie Cannon, success coach in the health and wellness arena and five times British gymnastics champion. And pretty much what do I do? I help people create a dream business, health and lifestyle all within the home-based business arena. So what are we going to talk about today? One of my favorite topics for you is all about delegation. Now, why, it sounds a bit boring, but why do I get so excited about it? So delegation has absolutely transformed my businesses. From, as in my first business, for those of you who don't know me, my first business was all, I built gymnastic gyms that still runs today. I also have online um, coaching and network marketing company as well. And one of the reasons sometimes people say to me, Katie, how do you do it all? You have your businesses you have a young family, and my word is delegation and finding the right people that are your tribe and that you want to work with to be part of your incredible team. But you're probably also saying to me, Katie, that sounds awesome, but I'm brand new to my business. I don't have the budget and I don't know where to start or who to delegate out to and what do I delegate? So today's episode is dedicated to you all about delegation, how to do it, when to do it, and where to start. Woo! Let's go. So number one, when you're brand new in your business, I want you to just delegate out the thing that you shouldn't be spending hours and hours doing, and that is accounts. Now, when we get into business, quite often you end up becoming a um, a jack of all trades master of none you end up wearing a million hats and by the end of the day weeks months years you end up thinking I've done more things that I didn't think I would do when I got into this business and that is because I always say keep the main thing the main thing and do what you are good at and try to delegate where you can the rest of it so for me personally I delegated out accounts my maths is horrific absolutely can't do it at all. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. So I knew I needed a good bookkeeper and accounts. So get yourself something very basic. It doesn't have to be expensive. There are so many great online tools. We use zero. It's about 20 pounds a month. And then I get my um, accounts team to manage it off of zero. But to start with, you can actually use zero yourself, but delegate out by using the great system. So number one is accounts. Number two, your branding. So don't, this doesn't need to be something that is so expensive. You know, there are so many great, great platforms out there to help you with your branding. And two really good ones when you're really in the early days and you just want to pay something, pay a quick job to someone but get great results is a great place called People Per Hour. This is great because you can pay some like a couple hundred pounds to design a basic website for you. I also use tools like Canva and Wix. So Canva is just creating your own social media templates and make it look really cool. I am no designer. Do not get me wrong. I am no designer. It's not my forte. And um, Wix creating your basic website. You can whiz that up yourself or even delegate that out to someone for a couple of hundred pounds to do all of your social media images and content for a whole month. So bulk together stuff. So I said, number one, I want you to delegate out accounts and bookkeeping. Number two, any branding that you can delegate. Now, if you are an amazing designer, great, go for it. But I don't want you to spend hours and hours designing stuff when that is not going to get you money into your business. So always remember, keep the main thing the main thing. And where, what activity can you do today and in your next week and your next month that is going to bring more money into your business? And number three, I'm only going to give you three really basic ones today because I don't want to overwhelm you too, too craziness, too much. But I want to keep it super focused this episode and, and super, super clear for you. 
So <coughs> number three is your admin and your basic administration. So what does this look like in a home base small business when you're starting out? This could be, you know, pretty much um, answering your emails, um, booking, booking appointments for you, reaching out to certain people. And again, I did all of this very much in my early days of my business. So it could be someone that's just doing your administration in terms of um, your bills and your, you know, getting back to certain people, stuff that someone can easily do. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be you, but it does take you a couple of hours a week. So really look into your week to week. And, you know, in terms of delegation, in terms of um, administration, you could even take this one step further. And this comes into your personal, it doesn't just have to be business. So you might look at, you might delegate your household admin to someone to help you just for like an hour a week. Or going back to your, your personal world, you know, eyes off the business for a second, you think, right, what do you hate doing in your house that takes you a couple of hours a week that you could delegate out? And the first thing that I did was to get a cleaner. Oh my gosh, I hate cleaning. So it really wasn't a hard decision. But I knew by paying a cleaner 30 pounds a week, was a lot more cost effective in my business than me cleaning my house for three hours first thing on a Monday. So really look at where you're at, where you can really shave off extra, even if you can gain yourself an extra two hours a week, where you can then put that into your business. So I hope you've really enjoyed episode three today, all about delegation. In the show, night, show notes below, I've absolutely um, popped in my delegation hot checklist <coughs> for you and just keeping it really basic for you today on how to really delegate out. And I've created it like a checklist so that once you've delegated it out, you can put a big tick in the box so that you know that it's delegated and you have done that and you can then move on. So if you've loved this um, episode today, please, please share it with your friends and your family. And every Monday, this episode comes to you with brand new information. So please do subscribe to hear me every single Monday with great value and tips in business, health, and lifestyle coming to you. You'll also find more information all over on my social channels. But as I said, all the information is in the show notes below this video. Awesome, guys. I cannot wait to see you next week. Have an amazing week. And I cannot wait to sh for you to share with me what you've delegated out this week that's made a massive difference in your world. Thank you so much for being here with me. Have an amazing week. Bye.